was about 75 miles an hour down on the freeway uh as well as a bunch of side roads and things like that just uh just well right. it, it was its main voyage it, it needed to get out on the road anyway and uh get well honestly it. the uh venturist towed very well behind the 2017 jeep wrangler winter edition but this yeah. video is not about the venturist it's more about the max coupler setup <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Guys, right here in Bubba's Garage, we're planning our trip around the United States. And I figured this is a great opportunity to talk to you a little bit about the Max Coupler. Now we bought the Runaway Venturis from Runaway Campers out in Florida. And that setup comes with a Max Coupler. So today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what it comes with, what it doesn't come with. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna install this on the Jeep as well as the rig. We're gonna hook it up and we're gonna take it down the road. So the Max Coupler comes with the yoke assembly, one hitch pin, as well as this piece here that you're gonna to attach to your rig. What it does not come with is a hitch. Now, one of the most important things that you're gonna to wanna to do when you're actually hooking up this trailer or any other trailer out there for that matter is you need to make sure that between your vehicle and your rig, that you're going to be level you don't you don't want you do not want your rig to be way up in the air or, or nose diving down to the ground so it's very important for you guys to take some time measure things out from the bottom of it from the ground all the way to the hitch point on your rig and then from the ground all the way to the hitch point on your vehicle you might have to get a drop hitch maybe that drop hitch is one inch maybe it's a two inch maybe it's a six inch and then you might even have to turn it over. It just depends on your rig. So make sure that no matter what you're doing, if you're towing a rig, make it level. Come on, it's very important, make it level. It's not gonna tow exactly correct if it's not. So make it level. But Max Coupler does not come with a hitch. So check that out. You need to get that first. Make sure you got all your measurements and everything set up. Your yoke assembly is actually gonna be installed on that hitch. And what you're gonna do you're going to drop it through here and you're going to mount it. And we're going to show you how to do that here in just a moment. The next step is getting this little fella installed on your rig. It's nothing more than running a hitch pin through it. It's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. We're going to show you that here in a minute. But before we start anything, you need to put some grease in this little fella. That's what we're going to do right here, right now. And then we'll go and install the yoke assembly. So if you notice, we put about 10 pumps in it and then we started rotating things around just to kind of get that grease to kind of work itself up in there a little bit. And then put a couple of more little pumps in it right afterwards just to top it off. Pretty much, that's about it. Now we're gonna take our receiver. Keep in mind, again, this does not come with the Max Coupler. We're gonna take our receiver, we're gonna install that on the Jeep and we're gonna attach the yoke. So come on. Before you start installing your yoke assembly and your hitch, you might want to remove any existing hitches that you already have. Now for this part of the installation, you're definitely going to need to make sure that you have a pipe wrench handy. We're going to slide your receiver in just like you would any other receiver. And we have a lock on this one. Why, I'm not sure, but we do. And the next up is the yoke assembly. It's pretty easy to do this, guys, honestly. You do, drop it down, put your washer on, and then install your nylon lock nut. Now, this is where you might need two pipe wrenches.
this piece will swivel. You do not want this to move. You just want this piece to move. And be better prepared. Make sure you have two pipe wrenches. Now to use a max coupler, you need to make sure that you have a trailer like this that actually has the, what is it, two, two and a quarter uh, tube. This is the Runaway Venturist. Comes exactly like this, a full backbone that runs all the way through the camper. This is probably one of the easiest parts that you're actually gonna do. You're just gonna take this little fella, you're gonna slide that in there. Now, you probably wanna make sure that your um, grease fitting is pointed down. I, you know, honestly, I don't know if that's a big deal or not. That's just kind of one of those things that, that I've always done. And we're not gonna use this hitch pin here. We're gonna actually install a different hitch pin. And we'll save this one to use right here when we back up the Jeep. So the next part is actually the fun part. Just like that, we warped right back to the house. We actually took this down the road, we ran it uh, about 75, uh, about 75 miles an hour down on the freeway, uh, as well as a bunch of side roads and things like that. Just, uh, just well, right. it, it was its main voyage. It, it needed to get out on the road anyway. And uh, well, honestly, it. the uh, Venturist towed very well behind the 2017 Jeep Wrangler Winter Edition. But this yeah. video is not about the Venturist. This is more about the Max Coupler setup. Um, guys, uh, we have a disclaimer at the bottom of our video. Please do not follow any of these instructions. <laughs> uh, I think they're all right, but honestly, uh, we just do the best that we can with what we have and we learn as we go. And uh, this is the first Max Coupler setup I've ever used. Um, read about them, uh, studied them a lot over the years, but never really uh, had one myself. So hopefully this gives you some pointers if you're gonna run a Max Coupler setup on your rig. There are also other options to this as well. It's not just the Max Coupler, but uh, this is the one that we have. It comes with the Venturist by Runaway Campers. Guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, give us a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. If you really like this video and you wanna stick around and find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.